Hi guys. It has turned into a rather pleasant Saturday morning in the collapse of global industrial civilization as we stumble into Saturday morning, April 17th, 2021. And the little dog and I need to get serious about packing our gas sucking truck to head to New York on Monday morning. This time Monday, I will be on the road to New York, baby. But uh, before we do that, one more procrastination. Uh, you guys get two chronicles of the collapse today. We were just over in the shallow end of the <clears throat> doomsday prophecy pool. You might get to hear an airboat come through the middle of this rant. We were over there in Lebanon in the shallow end of the uh, doomsday prophecy pool. But we're going to swim a little bit deeper into the deep end of the doomsday prophecy pool and go from looking at uh, how this is affecting humans to the rest of the planet. Several versions of this story uh, on the on Yahoo News this morning. This we're just going to run with Reuters, the mainstream of the mainstream. I love this creative use of uh, the English language here in this headline. Scientists find only 3% of land areas unblemished by humans. Unblemished, there is another word for unblemished that we all know. It does begin with an F. I will let you figure out. Scientists find only 3% of land areas un -effed by humans. All right, take it away, Reuters News, and explain this to us. What is this? Uh, this is a picture from the Amazon rainforest to start our, that is the what the Amazon rainforest looks like in April of 2021. All right. Take it away. Based, coming out of Singapore, this story, very little of today's world resembles planet Earth from 500 years ago. I would say very little of today's world resembles planet Earth from 500 days ago. But anyway, uh, I guess this is when, you, you know, uh, Miguel Cervantes was pinning uh, Don Quixote trying to warn us about this. Very little of today's world resembles planet Earth from 500 years ago. In fact, only about 3% of land surfaces you know, on this entire planet might be, might be ecologically intact otherwise known as still home to their full range of native species and unblemished by human activity, according to new research. The finding, published Thursday in the journal Frontiers in Forest and Global Change, is far lower than previous estimates based on satellite images, which suggested around 20 to 40 percent of land ecosystems are still undamaged. Yes, we finally have an estimate uh, previously much lower than previously believed. Uh, yes, three percent. For the new study, however, scientists conducted an extensive survey of forest cover and species losses to understand better what was happening beneath the world's tree canopies. This is this concept of biological deserts. I had a little hint of this in the Okefenokee Swamp this week. You know, where you're out looking around and it looks fine but there's nothing there. It is a biological des desert. Well, I'm getting sidetracked. Scientists create first human monkey embryo. 
Anyway, that's another rant. For, uh, that is another rant for another day. Let me get back to the collapse of a planet. Uh, this is Andrew Plumptre, a conservation biologist at the University of Cambridge. If I ever start my interviews again, we are definitely going to get Andrew on the show. Quote, I was particularly surprised to see how low it really is. It shows how rare such intact places are. It's scary just how little the world looks like what it was just 500 years ago, close quote. The term ecosystem describes the complex relationships within a natural area that all together help to sustain a healthy and balanced diversity of life. Lose, lose just one or two key species and the entire system could fall apart. Do you think so? Today's still pristine habitats containing the same species abundance as in the year 1500 AD were mostly found in regions considered <clears throat> less hospitable for humans, <coughs> including the Sahara Desert and Chile regions of Greenland and northern Canada, and I, nowhere does it say whether Antarctica was, I, I've not seen this little asterisk whether uh, Antarctica was included uh, in the study or not. Um, other intact habitats were in areas under extreme pressure from deforestation and development including parts of the Amazon rainforest in Latin America. The authors argue that these areas should be a priority for future conservation, though currently only 11%, 11% of these areas are under any kind of protection. We've had many uh, rants from Manga Bay, there is no such thing as a protected area from humans left on the planet. Uh, the very notion of a protected area from humans. Anyway, getting back to plump tree, I love that name, plump tree. The idea of focusing on intact areas is so you don't have to work to remove the human footprint. <laughs> yeah. Some scientists, however, question the extremely low figure, saying it could be attributed to the study using a particularly narrow definition of intact habitats, those with their full historical collections of animals and plants, and then they interview someone I have interviewed here on this is, uh, I never thought I would see Stuart Pym, a conservation scientist at Duke University. You can find my interview with him somewhere. When they, when they hold up Stuart Pym as an apocaloptimist, you know uh, uh, that uh, what percentage of this planet has been not, has been unblemished by humans. When Stuart Pym has to come up with the hopium in the story, <clears throat> quoting Stuart, we need practical actions to ensure species and ecosystems survive, said Dr. Pym. He also questioned the study author's call for protecting still intact areas, noting frozen or desert patches are not the most abundant with species. Quote, encouraging nations to protect remote, sparsely, popu sparsely populated areas won't do biodiversity a lot of good, Pim said. Well, unless you're part of that biodiversity in the last 3%. 
an effort led by the United Nations to protect 30% of the planet's land and waters by 2030, up from about 17% currently under some form of protection has gained momentum over the last year. All right, as governments, including the United States, have pledged to commit more land to conservation. Some conservationists argue, however, that the world's conservation goal should be much higher than 30% in order to prevent mass die-offs by species. A 2019 UN report estimated as many as one million species are now under threat due to human activity, said Pym, quote, 30 by 30, meaning this is this little UN cute little slogan, 30% of the planet protected by 2030. 30 by 30 is a nice catchphrase, but it won't do much good if the areas to be protected are not selected carefully. Yes, and Stuart Pym knows as well as I do the joke of protected areas, but uh, you go, Stuart. Anyway, now that we have swum around in the shallow and the deep end, I suge highly suggest you get out there and uh, enjoy uh, some remote spot in the middle of the Sahara Desert while you still can before it too is blemished by humans. <clears throat> Bye guys.